Good morning. It is Thursday morning, I think. Yeah, Thursday morning. And I have a meeting in literally five minutes. So this can't be very long, but I wanted to give you guys some just some tough love this morning on a topic that's really kind of starting to bug me. I speak with a lot of business owners every single week between our sales appointments, between just, you know, conversations, um, social media. And I cannot tell you how many people I've spoken with who have given me some this BS about I'm going to wait and see how the chips fall. I want to see how things pan out at the end of the pandemic and then I'm going to make decisions. And <laughs> here's what I have for you guys right now on this whole topic, okay? If you're waiting to see how things are gonna pan out at the end of the pandemic before you make decisions in your business, you will be irrelevant by the end of the pandemic. Here's the thing, this is not going to be over. Too many people are still sitting on their asses thinking this is gonna be over in a couple of weeks. This is not gonna be over in even another couple of months. This thing is going to have far reaching consequences for our businesses. So for the people who are sitting on their asses thinking, I'm just gonna wait and see how things pan out. I got news for you. This pandemic is going to create millionaires and billionaires. The people who take action, who are making decisions and moving their businesses forward, those are the people who are actually going to benefit from this. Those of you guys who are sitting on your butts going, well, let's wait and see. We're gonna wait to make decisions. We're not gonna do anything. We're not gonna change our plans. We're just gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna ride it out. You're not going to ride it out. You're not. You are going to have to make changes in your business. The economy has changed. Everything has changed. You are going to have to take action. You're gonna have to make decisions. You're gonna have, look, people are still buying. I know people are still buying, okay? We are closing deals. We have closed what? I don't even remember how many closed deals. Three deals? I think we're at three deals closed this week already. It's Thursday, guys, okay? We are at three deals closed. People are still buying. They're just not buying from you because you're not out there taking action. You're not out there talking to people. You're sitting back waiting for this thing to be over. By the time this thing is over, if that is you, here's what I promise you. You will not be in business. You have got to start making decisions. You have got to start moving yourself forward. You've got to stop waiting around for this thing to be over. It's not going to be over. The people who are sitting on their butts are going to be out of business. The question is, is that you? I did say it was going to be some tough love, right? <laughs> Look, I only bring this up because I am watching people destroy their businesses right now. I am watching people refuse to make decisions. I am watching people refuse to take action. They are sitting on their butts, hoping that hiring someone will make the phone ring, hoping that some kind of switch is gonna get flipped and all of a sudden life's gonna be gravy and that's not how it works. There is no silver bullet. There's no silver bullet for sales. There's no silver bullet for marketing. It's about consistency. It's about repetition. It's about continual evolvement, putting the effort forth, putting the action out there. And if you can't do that, you are going to find your business shut down. You are going to have to go take a job. And that is heartbreaking, you guys. The number of people who are setting themselves up for failure right now by waiting to make decisions, by waiting to move on the business, the people who are operating from a place of fear are going to have a business based in fear. And I tell you this, businesses based in fear don't last. So make some decisions today. Get out there, make something happen. Take action at a higher level than you have ever had to take action, but do something to save your business. Because if your business falls apart at this point, what was the point of the past five years, six years, seven years, two years, three years, however many years you've been in business, if your business fails now, what was the point of that? I can tell you this, being on the other side, having a successful business, being at the point where I'm not happy, I mean, we're, you know, there's always a concern, I'm being aware of what's going on, but I'm not having to go in full out panic mode 
And it's amazing. I know people who are scared to death they're about to lose their jobs. People who are scared to death they're going to have to close the door for their business. And I will tell you being on the other side of that is way better. But I will also tell you I didn't get there sitting on my butt waiting for things to happen for me. I went out. I made stuff happen. It's time for my appointment, so I'm going to go hop over there. But I want to encourage you guys, go make some stuff happen today. Make decisions. Grow your business. You got this.